everybody. I am outside of a bowling alley and inside is a practice of Special Olympic bowling. This was something I was a part of and it was something I'm very proud that I was a part of. These athletes, they show love, support, encouragement, friendship, and a little bit of competitiveness with each other. And it is just an absolutely amazing thing. Now I'm gonna show you that you can be a part of. Now it gets a little loud inside and a little hectic. So Hobby's gonna to try to get the best footage he can. But I want all of you to come inside with me and be part of this absolutely awesome time. So come on in. Okay, I am here with Sean. He is the head bowling coach of the Special Olympics bowling that I was a part of. And Sean, I want to ask you, as a coach of bowling, pretty much every year. What is your favorite part of the season? My favorite part is just getting together with all the, the uh, athletes. Each one has his, his or her own idiosyncrasy and, you know, trying to figure out what makes them tick in the course of a, of a practice or a, a, a meet. And especially with bowling, you know, everybody is excited about the season going on. And we're out here to have a lot of fun. When you guys get to state, did that make you just very proud? Like how competitive they are. Oh, it's, it seems like when state comes around, the kids bring their A game. Uh, generally, the kids they have some of their highest games that they'll have, they'll bowl all season. And I don't know if it's just because of the, the competition that comes out, or if they're excited. Um, but it's just it's really a lot of fun. Now, Sean's oldest daughter participates in bowling. And I'll tell you guys why she kicks Is she the oldest daughter? Yes. Erin? Yes. Really? Yeah. And she is actually a really good bowler. Sean, as a father, how proud does it make you when you see her compete? She always makes me proud because of the fact that, you know, when, when she was born, we were told by her initial pediatrician that she wouldn't be able to do much of anything. And that's such the difference in expectations from 29 years ago versus now. Um, she's always been extremely active and extremely involved with sports. So this is just one of many that she uh, she does really well with. So as a, as a dad, I, I enjoy the hell out of it. <laughs> Guys, this is Aaron. This is Sean's oldest daughter, and I have to tell you guys, she is not the only athlete that is absolutely inspiring and amazing. Everyone that you'll see in the video tonight just goes beyond everyone's expectations, and I love and adore all of them. Give me a thumbs up, Aaron. You're awesome. Who's your Who's your boyfriend, Aaron? Bill. <laughs> We've heard about Bill for how many years? Um, one week. Uh, she's been, let's see, we've known Bill for probably 10, 12 years, and they've been engaged for the past eight, eight. at least. What's her average bowling? Uh, she's averaging about a 110. Jeez, that is awesome. What's her highest game? Highest game is a 169. You got any more questions, honey? No, but thank you, Sean, for having us. Well, thanks for coming on out and taking photos of all the uh, the young people, the athletes. I call them my kids, but, you know, some of these guys range. They're my age. Yeah. <laughs> some of them are in their 30s and 40s. You know, down to 9 and 10 years old. What are the conditions? 
We've got a, a wide variety. We have everything from autism to Downs, uh, Down syndrome to. Um, we used to have blindness. Yeah, we, we did have a blind <laughs> bowler. Um, we have we have a couple of deaf bowlers. Um, just a little bit of everything. We we don't have anybody um, who's in a wheelchair this year. We do have one athlete who uses a walker. Um, but for the most part, it's just it's a wide variety. Okay. All right. Well, thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Aaron. You're welcome. Aaron, wave bye to everybody. So, guys, this is the entire team and the families that come to the bowling down through here. There are 40 bowlers. So, what are they doing now, honey? Are they getting ready to practice? So, what you everybody gets to do is they get to have a practice time, and then they set up the lanes, and they bowl for the night. They get two games. Okay. So, they are practicing now. I'm getting some footage of them practicing. They want to start practice now. practice. Guys, these are these are the really good bowlers right down here. And then this team right here is really good. And this guy in the red is pretty good and the Pedroya shirt is pretty good. But some do have some severe disabilities that they try to overcome. There we go, that's Kathy. Then you got this little guy here. Uh-oh. Honey, what do you think? I'm sorry. These people are just amazing. Yeah, some of them bowl like 115, 120 every night. So. I'm lucky to make it to 80. Yeah, but your highest game was what? 91. 91 with no bumpers. No. Bowling, and you're blind. And everybody in the Special Olympics do not get bowl, uh, bumpers. No, they do no not. Bumpers. There's no bumpers allowed. I'm going to show them a little more here. Man, that guy almost got a strike. Guys, there's some really, really good bowlers. It's just really cool to see them out here enjoying themselves. And uh, they have a lot of fun. So, 
There's a good one. Uh, look, they bowl pretty good, don't they, honey? They are some pretty good bowlers. So they can beat me any day of the week. Oh, I don't know about that. You beat a lot of them on your team. Hey, so you guys got to see a little bit of Special Olympics bowling. As you can tell, those athletes are just amazing, inspiring individuals. I am so proud to have been involved in Special Olympics. So proud. And now, I am just as proud to stand here today and be part of Ninja Nation. I am a ninja. I wake up every day with an obstacle with my disability. Ninja Nation proud, Special Olympic athlete proud. Hey, Thank can you give me a karate chop or something? Give me a ninja move. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, I appreciate everybody for watching. Ninja strong. Ninja Nation strong. Everyone, always remember, no sight, no problem.